What's up, everyone? This is Draco Evolve. Manchester United nil, Arsenal one. Outclassed, outfought, outplayed by Arsenal. If you watch the match, it is the case. You know, I, I put up a tall, a tall, a poll up in Twitter earlier. Um, you know, score predictions for today. In 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 my YouTube one, I had. Thank you for everyone that's voted in, by the way. United winning convincingly 84% votes. And my Twitter, 58.8% votes on United. And and that's that's what we all thought. We all thought that Arsenal um, didn't have the quality, especially in the midfield battle, um, that will win. Unfortunately, unfortunately, um, credit to Arsenal. They've set up in a good way. They, they played a system that thoroughly outclassed us. I mean, we had... Four central midfielders. This was the lineup. It looked like a diamond. Only changed to a 4 2 3 1. Still nothing happened. We had four central midfielders on the field and they were dominated by Partey and El Neni. Uh, Arsenal, uh, Arsenal are great. You know, I haven't seen this type of Arsenal performance in a very long time where they looked organised, they looked comfortable, they were good on the ball, they were more hungry, they were winning the 50 50s. And it seems like we've seen a different Manchester United side, right? It's it's like the one that we played in the midweek versus the one that we played now is is a total total contrast. We were slow, we were lethargic, we were giving away balls, and in terms of the tactics, it was wrong. You know, I've I've said it in 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 my one of my tweets in halftime that we need natural wingers. We never had a natural winger throughout the whole game. Look Shaw and Aaron Wan Bissaka cannot has not provided the width. They were dominated by Abamyang and William, and it allowed Tierney, Tierney and Bellerin to run on the wings. And in terms of our midfield, we never kept the ball. Pogba giving away a penalty, he made two mistakes leading up to that. Man, he, he he lost his runner first of all, Bellerin, and then he made a clumsy foul. And that was the only talking point in terms of chances. Yes, there were chances here and there. Arsenal did hit the bar. So did we. But it's, not, it's nothing much has happened in the game. But the game was, for me, lively. It was pacey. Arsenal were moving the ball around really well. They kept possession really well. And you can see the tactical approach by Arteta. And I've said it in my match preview. Arteta is a clever manager. He's not a stupid manager. He knew how to set up his team. And his team executed his plan to near perfection. Not once did they look really under trouble for Manchester United. I think in the second half, in the in like for 10 minutes, we threatened. But throughout the whole of the 60th, 70th minute, Arsenal were very, very comfortable. Leno barely got worked. We had four central midfielders getting dominated by two of their central midfielders. Our wide players were non-existent. Aaron Wambisica, Luke Shaw could not do anything. And... I have to pick on Oli a little bit here. Like, he took off Mason Greenwood, our, our threat. Uh, one of our threats, we need the goal. And I did say that we should move Mason Greenwood to the right, Rashford to the left, give a bit of width and put Cavani up top. But that has never that that didn't happen. Instead, we, we taken him on and Bruno Fernandes had a poor game again. And we kept Edison Cavani and Marcus Rashford up front. Still, there was no width. We had Pogba coming on, on the left and McTominay going on the right. Not natural wingers by any stretch of um, imagination. It was extremely disappointing to a point where it's not about the scoreline. It's 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 the way we lost. We we, we got outclassed. We got tactically outclassed by Arsenal. We haven't had that situation for a very 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 long time. What does that look for the table? You can see our home form is a disaster right now. Fifteenth in the table. You know we got game in hand, but six games in, we lost three times already. One twice. Minus four in goal difference and. It was was simply not good enough, and it's only gonna get tougher, right? It's it's strange to see this team perform like that after the weekday result against RB Leipzig, right? I don't know what to make of it. I mean, what is it like? Players didn't look up for it. They they were slow. They were giving away a lot of balls. Like Bruno Fernandes gave away a lot of balls. Pogba as well. McTominay has been has been a disaster. You know, Fred. Got taken off. I, I don't know why. I mean, probably because he was tired. He played a lot of games in recent weeks. I, I, I don't know. To bring in Matic for, for a bit of passing movement, but that never worked out. I'm looking back in the game and I, I cannot think of a single United chance that we had that I thought, hang on, that should have been a goal. I mean, in the first half, that, that pass by Marcus Rashford, crossfield ball, through ball, across, you know, 
be off both to Mason Greenwood was the only only good decent opportunity. Aside from that, we were at, we were at bloody Old Trafford and we got outplayed and outclassed by Arsenal. Don't give me none of that shit that Arsenal didn't deserve it. Anyone wants that one, you know, watch this match will know that we were out for and outclassed by Arsenal. At no point in the game we looked threatening. We had a 10 minute period, a spell period in the second half when we came out to a 4 3 1. And then nothing happened. Arsenal took control and Arsenal never really looked uncomfortable at one point in the game. I think right at the end, as with what Manchester United will do, they would have defend, you know, shoved in everyone at defence the last what four or five minutes to go. I would have done the same thing. But aside from that, there was nothing going on for Manchester United. We, we kept losing possession. We were slow. I, I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, but this was a killer blow. It was a poor, shit, shambles performance. And it, it it's a huge contrast. I don't know what to do now going forward. Like, I... I, I I have no idea. Like, I genuinely don't have no idea. We played the diamond formation to start off with, thinking that it is our best sort of formation, you can see, because of the players' personals that we have in the squad. We don't have a winger, you know, right winger to play that. It didn't work out. We got dominated. The four midfielders got dominated by both the Arsenal centre midfielders. Then we changed to a 4 3 one but no penetration, nothing in the final third. Very slow build-up, very predictable. Right, there was no width, so what else can you do? Like Arsenal literally nullified United from start to finish. Legit, if you watch the match, Arsenal nullified United from start to finish. I did predict one one. I didn't predict a United win because in last few games we've seen it. We beat Arsenal last in the Premier League in two thousand eighteen. Last few games in the Premier League, those were tight tight affairs. I didn't expect that much but it does it did seem like Arsenal wanted it more and they were tactically set up right and they were tactically executed right and they kept at it it's as if Arsenal knew exactly how we we're going to play and they did not budge from that and we had no answer going forward we had apart from Martial we had all our best players you can say uh, on the field McTominay was a bit of a bit of a question mark um but it is what it is we had the likes of Fred, who's been on phenomenal form. We had the likes of Pogba, big names, Bruno Fernandes, Pogba. Didn't do anything. Rashi, Rashford was there. Greenwood was there. Couldn't do anything. Literally couldn't do anything. I don't know how, where to pinpoint the results. Like, totally. Like, all I can say is that we weren't, we weren't good enough. We, we didn't look hungry enough. And uh, there's going to be some serious inquests now, especially in the Premier League. We've been... And at home, at Old Trafford. That's the worst part. At Old Trafford. It, there is some serious soul searching that needs to be done and Arsenal deserved it. That's all I can say. As always guys, I'll catch you guys in the next upload and stay fight for it.